I'm going to create a table table name is user mobiles and what are the fields we, we have two fields correct one is username and other one is the mobile name username is a string comma mobile name is a string correct when I now when I'm writing the two fields right so the each field is separated by the delimiter slash T okay so here the input fields one is a username and other one is a mobile name right now how these two fields are separated I have given the tab between the two fields correct so that here in the program I am writing row format delimited and fields terminated by so slash t I have used the delimiter slash t correct now semicolon press enter right it's saying that uh, it's an error in the line 3 we'll check that right here uh, row format delimited fields so the spelling you have to give f i e lds correct when i fields terminated by slash t now table is created right you can see the table so if you write describe user mobiles it's an empty right now if you write select start from user mobiles right do we have any data here no it's empty correct now what we have to do we have to load the data so now write load data local in path so now write the location from where we have the data we have the data is available in in the directory documents which is in b409 correct and the file name is temp so you can see home hadoop cd documents and b409 is the where we have the data correct so now you, you have to write this one okay load data local in path now where have to load the data b409 file name is temp yeah. into table user mobiles right it's saying that the path is wrong correct we'll change the path load data local in path b409 temp into table user mobiles right now i'll start the yarn cluster yarn cluster is running on which port 8088 correct vinay Eight zero double eight. Is any application is running right now? No, no job and no application is running. Okay, so uh, press enter. Right now we have loaded the data. Right, check any jobs are running in the cluster. No jobs running. Now. Now I'm writing select star from user mobiles. Any job is started? Vinay, no job is started because so these are all not the these are all are the non map no not jobs. Right? Now I'm writing select. Okay. Count of star 
from user mobiles count is involved now i will i will have a sense it will identify which job requires a map reduce which job doesn't require a map reduce now this job is required by the map reduce now this is the user query when the user press the enter button immediately this query is taken by the the map reduce now uh, and assigned as a map reduce shop see here i'm pressing enter now see the job is taken by the map reduce and total number of map reduce jobs are one so this one job is started so this job is assigned an application id so you can track the status of the application in a tracking url provided here this is the tracking url otherwise open the yarn cluster you can see the application which is running okay so we have started a history server so we can check the status of the job in the history server okay so the job is created and the total number of map reduce jobs are launched right zero so it's one map it state and one reducer i have used right so there is total map reduce time spent two seconds 170 right total number of records are three three right now you can check the internally so it's a task uh, attempt by the task tracker okay and some thing it's a reduced attempt by the task tracker so this is an attempt with attempt id succeeded and so the configurations are the counters used during the job is so these are the counters so we'll have a file system counters job counters so map reduce framework shuffle edits we'll see these parameters when we discuss about map reduce okay uh, counters means uh, count like yeah, the parameters are the configurations which it is used. Number of mappers, number of reducers, okay, number of bytes, number of read operations, number of write operations, right? So these are the counters. Counters like we have a file system counters. So related to the number of bytes, read, write, number of read operations, job counters related to the job, number of maps, number of reducers number of maps on the rack so total time spent by map task total time spent by the reduce so these are the counters related to the job so the total map reduce related counters are so total number of input records number of output records how much cpus time spent so is there any shuffling is there so these are all the map reduce related counters okay Right, so this is how to write a job in Hive. Now, see, I'll end this tweet. Right, so this is how we have to write the some jobs in Hive. Okay, so if you want to run the jobs in pig, then write pig iPhone x local. Right, so now I'm starting the pig in a local mode. Press enter okay so now this is the pig shell now so how to write this here the variable the relation we have to write user mobiles equal to now we have to load the data from where we have to load the data from the location what we have oh, just a second right so in pick we have to write like this home hadoop documents b409 and the file name is temp right now so what is that either we have wrote the row format delimited so here we have to write using pick storage so what is the delimited 
slash t. For everyone, for everywhere, uh, the delimiter is say slash t. Yes, compulsory. We have to specify in the program what will be the delimiter in your input program. Okay. Right. So here, uh, using pick storage slash t is a delimiter. Okay. Now then, write as. So what are the fields we have? Username is a char array comma. Mobile name is also char array. So this is how to load the data into the pig. Previously we have seen how to load the data into hive. Press enter. Okay. Now to see the content, you can write dump user mobiles. Right. Now it's a MapReduce task. Come back here. Okay, successfully read the records. Okay, so these are the this is how to read the data in a pic. Great. So, is not possible to look at into that map already? No, if you yeah, it's a, it's a possible because here I have to write the filter group count statements. Then it will be taken as a map radius. Okay. So suppose you have to write something like new group. Equal to filter user mobile by username. Right, describe user mobiles. Press enter. What happened? Any issue, uh, Vinay? 